I want to thank Bilal Hafta and Zach Janice, who I haven't seen him tonight. There you are. Hi, baby. Okay, I want to thank, thank them too for indirectly, in their own beautiful way, helping me finally write this piece. And I am sorry. Okay. Signs you've stopped believing in magic. When the stars are no longer reason enough to look up anymore. They're nothing but a glimpse into the past of what was an eternal fallacy with a mortal life cycle just like you. When the rain is no longer a music box melody soothing you to sleep, but a cacophonous preview of your own drowning and having an excellent memory no longer warrants bragging rights, but, it, but an insomniatic haunting of every moment of ammunition you use against yourself. Mm. When seashells on the shoreline are no longer a collection game of childlike innocence, but each gorgeously jagged blade cutting into you and expecting yourself to walk on like you aren't leaving blood in your trails. When the sunrise and sunset are no longer God calling to you every day, but reminders of your failure to rise, to greet a new day with the same courtesy it pays you. To you, they're just timestamps of a continued mediocrity and of unashamed privilege and obligatory existence that you never asked to have. No one asked for your permission to be born. It wasn't your choice to don this armor, walk around with scar tissue skin, the walking embodiment of a lacking in propriety. You learn you can guard yourself against everything but yourself. Standing tall becomes an act of bravery because you become terrified of heights. You become one of those people who demand to be heard with nothing worth listening to. Try Trying to glorify and romanticize the panic that is more like a death you are forced to keep living. You become trampled arid earth, extinguished flames, ashes of an existence. No magic carpet ride could save you from these Arabian nights and desert storms. And your lips become earthquake tremor lies of just how fine you are doing. I am fine lies because loose strands, tear stains and shards that remain say otherwise. Being asked if you were okay becomes a chokehold grip. What I mean to say is I can't breathe and I don't want to. What I mean to say is I am a trigger warning walking with an uncertain heartbeat, chanting that it's okay not to be okay, it's okay not to be okay, it's okay not to be okay. I am not okay, that just because it is all in my head doesn't mean it isn't real. And when eyes of comforting warmth melt from concern to awkward condescension and I, disingenuous stammers of extroverted conversationalist, reassurance that the red flags are just false alarms and everything is fine. Whoa!